going to be going over the microscope in this lab. So this is the standard light microscope that we usually use in the AMP lab. It's a binocular scope because it has two eyepieces. This is the revolving nose piece. It has four objectives. I currently have it on the scanning objective. Um, this is low power. This is high dry. This is oil immersion. Um, the total magnification can be calculated by looking at the magnification of an objective and then multiplying that by the magnification of an eyepiece. So the eyepiece is 10x. This one is 4x, and so 4 times 10 is 40x. The low power is 10x, so 10 times 10 is 100x. That's all I'm going to show you today. Um, to use the light microscope, you put the slide on the stage, then you start on the scanning objective, and you would focus the scope. Then, because this is parfocal, you would be able to move it to the next higher power, and then refocus. I'm going to see if I can kind of get this lined up. So right now I have fish blasted disc in here um, and it's already pretty much focused and so that is a fish embryo um, and that is it on the scanning objective so the total magnification of that was a hundred. Now Online students, you're not, of course, going to get a light microscope. They're too expensive. You guys get the fold scope. Um, the fold scope magnifies by a factor of a 140. So the scanning objective is the closest thing that that microscope has to what this microscope can do. Um, they're going to come assembled. You put a slide in by flopping this door open and then putting the slide in under that and that and then lining up the specimen on the slide with the lens and then closing it. Then you view by holding up to a light and then let's see if I can get this. I've got a rhizobium slide on here. There we go. And so you can see some of the cells that make that up. You are going to use the fold scope to see some of your cells. So you're going to be preparing the slides come off over here. Um, your fold scope comes with some slides. They, you have some that look like this where you can use stickers to make your slides. You also have some glass slides that should come with your kit to make your cheek smear. Use your glass slides and then you're going to use the iodine in a syringe to stain your slide so that they look better. But make sure since you're using a liquid that you use the stickers um, so that none of the liquid gets onto your fold scope. Um, I'm also going to link to, so the instructions that come with your fold scope, it has a user guide to it and then some tutorials. I'm going to recommend that you watch some of those because it can really help you get started with your fold scope. I hope that helps you understand how you're going to use that and then how it compares to the standard scope. Good luck.